Welcome to the Heart to Heart Spiritual Direction Podcast with Father Michael Stala, Spiritual Advisor of Hope's Garden. At Hope's Garden, it is all about the heart, the heart of Christ the Bridegroom, and how His love is healing our hearts, marriages, and families. You can learn more about the Bridegroom at hopesgarden.com. My name is Father Michael Stala. I am the pastor of Saints Cosmos and Damien and the spiritual director of Hope's Garden. Today, what I wanted to talk to you about was a prayer that we have as if Jesus is speaking to you. So as you've been learning about the Song of Songs, you know that the scripture is in some ways us talking to God, in some ways us interpreting history in a certain way, in some way uh, watching the activity of God. And sometimes the scriptures, in particular when it comes to the Song of Songs and in the Psalms, you can hear Christ speaking back to us. And this was a prayer that was written uh, in particular to you, the members of Hope's Garden, and those who are uh, just visiting us for the first time. I want you to remind you that Jesus is very gentle. This is one of the reasons why we don't have that booming voice for come from the heaven like St. Paul had. Uh, sometimes he has to do that, but very infrequently. And uh, for most people, he's so quiet, they don't even pay attention to his voice. They think of it as coincidence. They think of it as their imagination, but he is actually communicating us with us in such a soft way and gentle way because he doesn't want to scare you. He doesn't want to force you. He doesn't want to push you. He wants to be with you at the stage you're at in your personal faith journey. He wants to help you take one little baby step forward. He will never ask you to do more than you're ready for. And if you ever feel too uncomfortable, God knows. God would not be upset. He would just say, talk to me about that. So we could just take a, a, a breath of um, relaxation to understand that when God speaks to us, when God is with us, he's, he's not demanding of us. He knows us. He loves us as we are and will very gently walk with us. Picture this as the words coming from Jesus. To those whose dignity has been violated, beloved child of the Father, I am with you. I see you. I see your beautiful, radiant soul blooming like a pure white rose. I see your broken, yet still beating, still loving heart. I see your resilient, marvelous body. I see the pain, shame, and fear you carry like a crushing cross. And I love you. You are precious to me. You are my beloved. I await your coming to me. I desire to heal you, to lift the cross from your shoulders, and to dance with you. I have seen you always. I know this sin and shame that holds you captive does not belong to you. I want you to hear me say, enough, no more. My beloved, you have suffered long enough under this weight that is not your burden to carry. If you will only invite me into your wounds, into your aching heart, into your fear, and into your memories, I will love you into wholeness and clothe you with my garment of dignity and grace. I await your coming to me, for I will not violate or force. I am love. I am only love. Love 
is who I am. And my loving is gentle, patient, and trustworthy. You are safe here in my heart.